To this week's Lenten Pause. Our first reading is Psalm 107, which is found on Voices United, page 831. We will be sharing in part one with the spoken refrain. O oh, give thanks, for God is gracious. God's steadfast love endures forever. Let the redeemed of God say so those redeemed from trouble, whom God gathered in from the lands, from the east and the west, from the north and the south. O oh, give thanks to God for steadfast love. Some lost their way in desert wastes, finding no place to settle, hungry and thirsty, their soul fainted within them. They, then they cried to you, God, in their trouble. You rescued them from their distress. You led them by a straight path till they reached a place to settle. Let them thank you, O oh God, for your steadfast love, for the wonders you do for us, for your set for you satisfy the thirsty and fill the hungry with good things. Oh, give thanks to God for steadfast love. The second reading comes from the book of Isaiah in the 60th chapter, starting at the 15th verse. Whereas you have been forsaken and hated with no one passing through, I will make you majestic forever a joy from age to age. You shall suck the milk of nations, you shall suck the breasts of kings, and you shall know that I, the Lord, am your Savior, and your Redeemer, the Mighty One of Jacob. Instead of iron, I will instead of bronze, I will bring gold, instead of iron, I will bring silver, instead of wood, bronze, Instead of stones, iron, I will appoint peace as your overseer and righteousness as your taskmaster. Violence shall no more be heard in your land, devastation or destruction within your borders. You shall call your walls salvation and your gates praise. The sun shall no longer be your light by day nor for the brightness shall the moon give light to you by night. But the Lord will be your everlasting light, and your God will be your glory. Your sun shall shine, shall, your sun shall no more go down, or your moon withdraw itself. For the Lord will be your everlasting light, and your days of mourning shall be ended. Your people shall all be righteous. They shall possess the land forever. They are the shoot that I planted, the work of my hands, so that I might be glorified. The least of them shall become a clan, and the smallest one a mighty nation. I am the Lord, and it is now, it is not, it is time I will accomplish quickly. And our final reading today comes from the Gospel of John in the 8th chapter, starting at the 12th verse. Again, Jesus spoke to them, saying, I am the light of the world. Whoever, whoever follows me shall never walk in darkness, but will have light of life. 
Then the Pharisees said to him, You are testifying on your own behalf. Your testimony is not valid. Jesus answered, Even if I testify on my own behalf, my testimony is valid because I know where I have come from and where I am going. But you do not know where I come from or where I am going. You judge by human standards. I judge no one. Yet even if I do judge, my judgment is valid, for it is not I alone who judge, but I and the Father who sent me. In your law it is written that testimony of two witnesses is valid. I testify on my own behalf, and the Father who sent me testifies on my behalf. Then he said, Then they said to him, Where is your father? Jesus answered, You know neither me nor my father. If you knew me, you would know my father also. He spoke these words while he was teaching in the treasury of the temple, but no one arrested him because his hour had not yet come. As we hear these readings today, we hold their messages in our hearts. We wonder what they are saying to us. What gives us steadfast love? What is the light we share with our communities? What is the light we need in our life today? What do we speak up about? Where do you stand? We take these questions and we continue our journey to the cross with Jesus, wondering and exploring our place, our belonging, and how we are community. Thank you.